Hey guys, um, so David and I got back from uh, MOPS a little while ago, and MOPS, if you don't know, is Mothers of Preschoolers. Um, it's basically for any mom of a young child, or even if you're expecting or want to become a mom. Um, it's, a, it's a really good support group of, uh, you know, Christian ladies, um, and it's very fellowship-based. Um, Last year, when I was transitioning from um, getting out of the Air Force to uh, being a stay-at-home mom, um, uh, it was something that I had checked into. Um, but then I then uh, someone told me about uh, BSF, which is Bible Study Fellowship, um, and and so I I started going to Bible Study Fellowship, um, you know, thinking that I needed to pick between the two and. Uh, BSF was um, probably the more spiritual of the of the two. Um, so I did uh, Bible Study Fellowship or BSF last year. We studied the Book of Isaiah, um, and it was um, it was really awesome. I'm really glad that I um, that I did it. Um, you know, it's important to have a good, strong understanding of the uh, Old Testament before you can really grasp the um, life and significance of Jesus Christ and um, the sacrifice that he uh, that he offered for mankind. Um, so it was really cool to dig into Isaiah, which was a, a major prophet, and uh, look at those prophecies. Um, and the way BSF is set up um, is it's very structured. It's it's a polar opposite of mop, mops. Um, you know, it starts at 9:25, so you better be in your pew at 9:25. Uh, we meet at a church. Um, you know, drop your kids off. Thank goodness there's free child care for that as well. So it's a wonderful time for me to get away and study the Word and for David to be taught simple, basic, uh, biblical truths as well um, by, you know, loving adults. So, um, you know, you, you go into the church and they actually, they kind of tell you where to sit. Um, you know, it's it's not like a regular church service where you just kind of sit wherever you feel comfortable. You sit at the end of a pew or sit in the back. No, they they want to fill up every um, every row and every pew so that um, you know so that the group is pretty much close together. Um, they have a they have a lot of little rules like that that um, might catch you off guard, but um, you know they really do serve a purpose. Um, once you sit down, um, there there may be some announcements, and then you sing a few uh, hymns, which is really great too because I feel like um, uh, hymns are just such a rich tradition in our Christian history, and um, you know they need to be remembered and passed on and learned uh, by new generations. Um, so we sing a few hymns that usually relate to the message, um, and then. Uh, you know, we pray, and then we'll break up into our discussion groups, which are groups that are um, made of ladies kind of in your similar life stage. So mine is a bunch of young moms, um, or, you know, people trying to have, you know, uh, moms who want to have kids, women who want to have kids. Um, and the discussion group is also very structured. Okay, you have a worksheet. <laughs> Um, first of all, you have to read through the notes, okay, which, um, these are, these are dense. There's a lot of good meat in them. Um, and then when you, when you get to your discussion group, you've got, uh, questions, um, that you should have answered, uh, the week before. Um, so pretty much there's six days of questions, um, that you need to, you know, stay on top of. Um, this year we're studying the book of Acts. So pretty much we study one chapter every um, every week. Um, this week was Acts chapter 2, and phew, I need to get on the ball. I'm behind on my notes. But once you get to your discussion group, uh, pretty much if you haven't taken the time to uh, do the notes or do the homework, um, you're not really allowed to uh, contribute to the discussion. Um, so that's, that's an interesting thing. Um, you know, and it kind of makes sense, too, so that you're not, not just getting um, last-minute things from women. It really, um, it's it's accountability. <laughs> um, so that's good as well. Um, another rule is you can't really use 
uh, outside sources. So, um, and that's something that I've struggled with a little bit. You know, I'll read something good by C.S. Lewis or um, R.C. Sproul or something, and I'll want to share, but I won't feel like I'm, you know, really able to. So it really focuses you or um, forces you to dig into the, uh, God's Word, um, the Bible, and um, other books of the Bible to maybe find your answers. Um, so it's it can be challenging. So I did that last year, and um, I realized that I was still really lonely. Um, BSF is, there's a reason why fellowship is at the end of that um, title. It's because it's it's not very, there's not a whole lot of fellowship. Um, again, it's very structured. After discussion group, you move to the lecture, um, where you get an expository lecture of the uh, chapter that you studied. So, um, you know, you really get to learn what you studied that week. You, you do the homework, you discuss it, you listen to the lecture, and then they send you home with these thick notes to read over, just to reinforce everything. Um, so it's a really great way to become familiar with the scriptures. But, um, yeah, in between that, there's just not a whole lot of time to talk with other women or, or anything like that. Um, so... I'm, I'm really glad that this year um, I'm doing BSF for as long as I can handle it. Um, I'm, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, BSF is in two days and I haven't even started the homework yet. Um, but I really want to because it's, it's really good stuff and I always take um, a lot away from it. So I need to do my homework, um, but with the baby and everything coming, I don't know um, how long I'll be able to, to really stick with it. I might just take a few weeks off, um, but again, it's really good for David as well. Um, so, and that's every Thursday, um, and it's, it's again, very regimented, very spiritual. Um, this year, I decided to get involved in mops, um, because I was just, you know, not meeting a whole lot of people, and again, it's a huge change going from a, a career to just <laughs> staying at home, you know? It's like, what are you going to do today? I'm well, like... I guess we'll do laundry, we might go to the library, um, you know, it's, um, it's a huge, huge change, but, uh, but totally worth it, and it's, it's just like learning any new job, you figure out a routine and a schedule, and, um, it really works well for our family, and I'm able to, um, I feel like serve my husband and our home a lot better, <laughs> um, as well as my baby. Um, but with mops, David gets to go to mopettes. So again, he's taught um, biblical truths in, you know, a playful environment for a couple of hours while I'm upstairs. You know, basically, you know, it starts off with brunch. <laughs> you get food, and then you get to um, talk to the ladies at your at your table. Um, there's a lot of discussion questions that go on. Um, yeah, uh, today... Um, we did a craft, which you'll do, you know, sometimes at mops. And what we did is we um, put together these little jars of uh, it's friendship soup, um, and it comes with a recipe for, um, you know, what ingredients to add to make it, you know, the soup. So I could pass this on to a neighbor or keep it for myself or after I had the baby. Um, but so things like that, like it's 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 fun. Um, again, there's a lot of discussion. There's a lot of, um, we have a mentor mom at our table who has older kids, and so she can kind of, you know, um, encourage us and um, let us know that it won't always be this way and um, just provide that encouragement and that wisdom. Um, let's see, there's also a free table at Mops, at our Mops, where you can kind of bring in stuff, and I was really excited today. I was able to pick up um, like four swaddling blankets, which I only had one, um, and they're really cute patterns, and they're the big kind. I love to swaddle, um, well, I love to swaddle David um, when he was little, so I'm really glad that I was able to pick those blankets up. Um, I've gotten uh, books from there, and... Um, there's also a library that you can like check books out of. Um, they've got play dates every other week. Um, there's a there's a Bible study um, based on the book Made to Crave. 
that uh, that they're going to be starting um, on the 11th, which I registered for that nutrition conference, so I won't be going to the Bible study. So baby needs to stay in until uh, <laughs> um, until at least the 12th. That w that would be good. Um, so anyways, um, yeah, the difference between BSF and MOPS. Um, I think they're both really um, important, um, but at this stage in my life, I think um, I think if I was going to drop one, it would probably be uh, BSF. <laughs> um, but hopefully I'll be able to, to stick with both of them. Um, but I'm trying to give myself a lot of grace and, you know, um, and I think you should do that as, you know, as um, a new mom or as a mom in general. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. We've got our 38-week uh, prenatal appointment tomorrow, so I'll give you an update on how that goes. Um, other than that, I'll talk to you later. Bye.